Hey guys, welcome back to In Review, the show where I review TV shows, documentaries, trending topics, and more. Today I am reviewing the weight loss app Noom. So I saw a commercial about Noom on TV and decided to give it a try. I've tried several different weight loss techniques. I've tried Atkins, I've tried Weight Watchers, I've tried my own diet, I've tried Paleo, I've tried Keto. <laughs> I tried a bunch of different diets and the one that worked for me the most was really Atkins. A low carb diet really works best for me. Once I start eating carbs, that's when the weight just packs on. So I know that eating low carb is really what helps me maintain the weight that I want to be at. However, living a low carb lifestyle is extremely difficult, primarily because I'm a vegetarian. If you know anything about vegetarianism, you know that a lot of the foods that you eat are high carb foods, potatoes, breads, all those types of things. And so it's kind of like this yin and the yang between me wanting to remain vegetarian, like not really feeling led to change that at all, but then me also realizing that like eating carbs is not good for me. So anyway, I decided to try Noom. So the one thing that I really do like about Noom is that it's using psychology and science to help you lose weight. So it's teaching you some new techniques. I was a little bit kind of underwhelmed at first because I was like, oh, this is gonna be just like every other app or every other program. But they really do give you some really helpful insights, some things that I haven't heard before, some new lessons that'll really help you lose weight. The way that they really help this stuff kind of get into your head is by making each day's activities very short. So it takes you about 10 minutes a day to do the things that they want you to do, to read the material they're trying to present to you. And they immediately start giving you different techniques you can use in your weight loss journey. So one of the first techniques that I learned from Noom was to weigh yourself every day. Now the wisdom that I have been given over the years is that you shouldn't weigh yourself every day. You should only weigh yourself every couple of weeks because weighing every day makes you really obsessed with the number on the scale versus your other progress markers. However, Noom is telling you to weigh yourself every day because it helps keep your weight and your weight loss goals at the forefront of your life versus if you space out your weigh-ins over several weeks you can often convince yourself that you haven't gained any weight you're like oh I'm fine I remember the last time I weighed I was about like 130 or whatever and then you get on the scale and you're like oh crap I'm 170 weighing every day kind of keeps it in perspective like today's a new day today I can eat healthy today I can meet my goals and it just kind of sets you off on the right foot so they start by telling you to weigh in every day and that has been probably the biggest and most helpful tip that I've received from Noom. The other thing is their food categorization system. So it's not a point system. It is calorie based, like so the amount of calories, but it's a lot easier than what you may think. So I'd used Calorie Count before. Calorie Count's another app where you can essentially type in foods and keep track of your calories. And so I was a little bit like, ugh, it's going to be like this again where I have to count every calorie or whatever. But Noom has what I, what I would call like a three tier system. So they have green foods. These are like your vegetables, your fruits, those foods that have a very high water content. Noom teaches you that foods that have a very high water content are foods that are gonna keep you fuller longer. And then you have your yellow foods. These are foods that you should eat sometimes. That doesn't mean they're not healthy. It's just you should you know definitely watch your portions. <clears throat> And then they have red foods, which you should eat sparingly. Not to say they're not healthy, but you should eat them in moderation. And so what they try to teach you is that there are no foods that are off limits, but just foods that you need to limit, foods that you need to wash your portion sizes with. So I find that to be very helpful. I'm no longer worrying about points or even just calories, but rather how do I get more green foods into my diet. I also found that their database was pretty inclusive. They had a lot of products in there. There weren't many products that I had to type in personalized um, calorie counts for. Um, most of the items were just straight in the database already. So I found that really helpful. So overall, I like Noom a lot. I lost 10 pounds with Noom. It took me about two and a half weeks to do that. So I do feel like it's a success. And even though I didn't um, actually go ahead and pay for the paid version, I did go ahead and continue the free version. Some other features that you can use with the paid version is like getting involved in groups, having a personal coach, to help coach you with your own goals and there are a couple other features that you can do as well if you get the paid item, uh, the paid option if you don't get the paid option you can still use like the weight tracking the food tracking you can still use kind of the basic functionality of the app and still get a lot of the tips as well so some of the downsides that I found to using Noom is that the personalized coach that they give you they do give you that personalized coach during your 14-day trial but I found that it wasn't very interactive I thought at first I thought I was communicating 
communicating with maybe a bot, a chat bot that there, there was just sending me canned responses. But then I read up a little bit and it actually is a real person. But I just found that it wasn't very interactive. And I didn't mind that. I didn't actually want someone constantly like messaging me all the time. And maybe that's what they know. Like you're just getting started and maybe you don't want someone messaging you all the time. And you do have that option to like set settings as to how much you want to be communicated with. But I just found that to be less interactive than I thought it would be and less tailored than I thought it would be but that's probably on purpose since you're on the free trial they don't want to spend as much resources on you if you're not actually going to buy, buy into the program so that was something I noticed the other thing is the price of Noom I wouldn't use this app if it wasn't free. Like if the features weren't free, I would just take what I can from what I got from the 14 day trial and then just keep going and find something else. Um, so I wouldn't be willing to pay that monthly charge or pay that yearly charge to continue using Noom. I didn't think it was that revolutionary, um, but I definitely felt like I got a lot of good out of it. And if I was full time, I probably would invest. But where I'm at right now, I probably wouldn't have the, the income to do that. So it's really going to be up to you if you have it and you're willing to do it. And probably compared to other weight loss, pro weight loss programs like Weight Watchers or whatever, it's probably a lot cheaper, especially like Jenny Craig and stuff. It's probably a lot cheaper. So for most people, it's worth it. But just for me, it wasn't. So I definitely would recommend that you download Noom and start a 14 day free trial. Again, this is not sponsored at all. They have, they have nothing to do with this. Trust me. They did not pay me at all. I'm just suggesting this because I think you guys would really like it. All right. So comment below. Let me know if you've used Noom yet. If you've gotten a chance to try it out and let me know what you think. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.